I have something unique to talk about, and it is fingernail polish and your breast augmentation. So you might be wondering, how do those two things relate to one another? I'm glad you asked. So when you are going into your surgery, your surgeon may have told you this. Some surgeons I found when I was Googling this um, don't have a problem with it, but most surgeons um, require that you don't wear fingernail polish. Um, and I had someone ask me, what about a French tip? It's a great question. And I asked the surgeons here at Davis and Pyle and they said, even a French tip, we prefer not to be on there, either clear, completely clear polish or no polish. But why? So when you're going into surgery and coming out, they like to have like a, a pulse oximeter that you put, they like sandwich your finger in. And it reads how much, I think it's um, blood, how much oxygen is in your blood. So um, it also reads your pulse. But if you don't have clear fingernail polish on, sometimes it won't get a correct reading or it has a hard time reading on your finger. And some nurses like to look at your nail bed. And if your nail bed is starting to turn blue, then it means that uh, you need some oxygen. So let's say even if you had like a light pink polish on or a funky French tip and it's tinted pink or whatever, like it could still alter like the color of your nail bed. And it, when it comes down to it, like why risk it? And some places will actually take your polish off. So if you just went in for a manicure and then you wake up and you have like one or two fingernails missing or the polish is off, like you just kind of wasted all that money for nothing. So I would encourage you, don't get your nails done before you have your breast augmentation because it's just, it's just not ideal and you want to be safe and not sorry. So consider that um, and if you have to have polish, use clear.